Okay, so now we're looking at the forearm here. Okay, so I tell people when they're studying the forearm uh, to try and find a pattern. It just makes it easier to, to grasp all the muscles associated with this. Uh, so you start with a muscle that's easily recognizable. For me, that's the pronator tres. Okay, so it kind of goes the opposite direction of all the other muscles here, uh, and it sits back here. Okay, so now I'm going to move towards the thumb again. So as I rotate, I have the brachioradialis. Keep going. Okay, so now I've got my uh, extensor carpi radialis, my extensor digitorum, my extensor carpi ulnaris, my flexor carpi ulnaris, spin around to the bottom here, got my uh, palmaris longus, so that one's easy if you follow it up it goes to the palm, hence the name palmaris longus, and then finally we're back here at the flexor carpi radialis, which my pronator tres sits on top of. Now you also have a few muscles kind of underneath, they make layers here. Uh, so underneath the palmaris longus, so find our palmaris longus here. Uh, if we look underneath that is my flexor digitor superficialis, so it's the most superficial underneath there. Underneath that is my flexor digitorum profundus. Now underneath the brachioradialis, get these out of the way. right here is the supernator.